In this lesson, we will learn about the controller and creating links between inputs and outputs. Let's go to the pro project we created in the last lesson called My First Project. We will use the page we created in the last lesson called MT.TP. Now we will link these buttons to group addresses so that they can send data to the bus and receive and display information from the bus. Select the button on the far left. All of the buttons were assigned an ID name in the last lesson. We are working with a button whose ID name is Button 1. Now we will select the Functional tab under Object Properties. We will use this tab to create links to the button. Click on Linkers and Devices. We use this window to use the different types of linkers. In this example, we will link Group Addresses. Select the Group View tab in Linker and Devices and open it. Now we can see the group addresses that we imported from the ETS database. Now we will create a link between the button and a group address so that the button can receive and display the status of the group address. Select the receive point named on off one bit. Now locate the desired group address and drag and drop it to the links window. Now we will create a link between the button and a group address so that the button can transmit. Select the transmit point named one bit out. Now locate the desired group address and drag and drop it to the links window. Now let's create links with the other buttons. Notice that when you select any property in the object properties, this area displays information about the property. Now let's work with the master button. We want it to display on status only if all of the buttons are on. To do this, we use the controller. Select the Projects window and open the MT.MDS controller sheet. Now select the Buttons tab on the Controller Palette window. Every button on a graphic page has a corresponding button block. Here are the button blocks of the buttons that were placed on the graphics page. Button 1, Button 2, Button 3, and the Master button. You can use the button block on the controller page to link the button to other buttons, function blocks, and linkers. Let's select the Master button block and place it on the controller sheet. You can use a button block on a controller sheet only once. After you use a button block, it will no longer be displayed on the Buttons tab. Next, we will add an AND logic function. Select the Digital tab and click on the AND N button. Set the number of inputs for the AND gate to 3 and click OK. Now place the AND gate on the controller sheet. Now we will define the inputs for the AND gate. Locate and drag and drop the group addresses used for applying status to the three lights. Next, we link the group addresses to the inputs of the AND gate. Place the mouse on the green square of the group address. Press, hold, and drag the mouse to the desired input and release the mouse. We can see the line showing the link between the output of the group address and the input of the AND gate. Let's repeat this process for the remaining group addresses. Now we will link the output of the AND gate to the input of the master button. Now the master button will display ON status only when the three lights are on. Next, let's set the master button so that it controls the three lights. Locate and drag and drop the group addresses used for controlling the three lights.
Now link the output of the master button to the inputs of the three group addresses. Please note that the Maestro Designer allows you to link more than one input to one output. Here in our example, when the master button is pushed, it will transmit three telegrams at once. The Maestro Designer has a very useful function that allows you to simulate your project. Click on the Run button on the toolbar and try out your buttons. Notice that the master button changes to on state only when all three of the lights are on.